are controlled and they're lying to us and the Western world is all a lie and the law is subjective. If, if the main power in the world changes from America to China, it might even be worse. So it's kind of interesting, like either way we're going, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a difficult future for people. Yeah, every uh, top sort of factory owner that I know in China, they all originally wanted to come here when I started doing business with them 25 years or so ago. Yeah. And they're all now looking at Dubai. They've forgotten England. Now. 100%, totally. everyone is going to Dubai. This was a safe haven for them. That's what they thought. Yeah. And now it's Dubai. Everyone, everyone with money is going to Dubai for the same reason. It's, it's globally, you can't, there's no city that can compete. I was, I was at a meeting, I won't name drop, I was with a couple of billionaires and I was sitting with them and I said, if you didn't live in Dubai, where's the next most hospitable city in the world? And they said, number two is Tokyo because it's safe. Very uh, safe. Very safe. People are quite friendly. Very respectful. Very respectful. There's a lot to do, but they're still saying it's a, it's a second, but it's nowhere near Dubai. Mm. And I said, why? And they said, because it's more traditional, inward thinking, hard to do business, hard to penetrate the culture, hard to yeah. penetrate the language barrier. Like in Dubai, you can come up with a brand new idea, a brand new product or something that's never been seen before. And you'll find people who are interested in it and you'll get investors and everyone speaks mm. English. And it's very forward thinking. It's a very mm -hmm. forward thinking place. But they said, yeah, Tokyo is number two, but it's, it's half as good as Dubai. Dubai mm. is, 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 is winning. It's winning. Mm. And they're, cause they're running their, they're running their city and they're running their country like a business. They're, they're, and here we are, and you have one person in charge, one person in charge running it like a business. Think of, about how much more competitive that is than having a parliament full of clowns, yeah. and jackals, <laughs> arguing with each other about garbage mm. and nobody fixing anything. Stupid. Mm. You walk down the street in Dubai, if the king walks down the street and there's a hole in the floor, he says, fix that hole. Next day mm. is fixed. Mm. Here we need a parliamentary review and six months mm. and a government contract and half the money goes missing and then they somehow might fix it next year. Stupid.